Welcome to the Authors Studio at Book Expo 2007. We're here with Peter Cease, a MacArthur Fellow and two-time Caldecott Honor winner. Peter has a new book coming out soon, a memoir entitled The Wall, Growing Up Behind the Iron Curtain. Welcome, Peter. Thank you. Um, it's a very graphic memoir, from what I understand. The Wall, Growing Up Behind the Iron Curtain. And it uses both art and prose to show what it was like to live in communist Czechoslovakia before the Cold War ended. You use various media, including drawings and, and personal journey entries and photographs, to tell us your story. So why did you select this method? Because I, um, what happened was that I was trying to explain to my kids what it was like to grow up in the situation like uh, behind the Iron Curtain. And... I realized it's impossible to explain in just a very simple way because I was also talking about rock and roll music and uh, me being a teenager like they are. So I was using the photographs, I was using my old paintings, and I was using black and white pictures with red, trying to symbolize how dull and stupid the time was growing up over there. While we thought in America everything was colorful and <laughs> golden and, and uh, rock and roll. Uh, you've written quite a few books, but this is being called your most personal work yet. It's based on your own childhood. Why this? Why now? Because I did for like 10 years when the kids were little and I was the center of attention. I did lots of books about them, how wonderful it is to be a little girl, which was Madlenka, or how wonderful it's to be a little boy, which was my son, who loved fire trucks and everything was great. Then came 9-11, they became young teenagers, and then all, of a, all of a sudden came this time when you supposed to tell your kids like life is not always so wonderful you have to be careful because some boogeyman or whatever so i started to do more books about things which might happen i hope will not happen again i thought i don't want anybody to experience the same thing like what happened when there was a wall in berlin i did a book about that i don't know if it's like a most enjoyable topic to read before you go to bed but i think for them being now 13 and 15, it's good if they know about it. Most of us, when we think about our past, we think about the good and the bad. The painful, uh, the bad is always painful to think about at times. You wrote about it. Was it tough to revisit that part of your past? That was painful because uh, even talking to my friends, they said, but we had good times. We played games and it wasn't, the secret police wasn't so secret and it wasn't, you know, but I, I just thought I was like so upset when I realized living here in this country now, looking back how people could do whatever they wanted to you and seeing my kids being free, at least to the point that nobody will push them around, that I, it was painful to realize that I was really gullible and stupid when I was a little boy. Did the writing help you heal those scars? It did a little bit. Now it's interesting because if I show it to my fellow countrymen, they all say like they really disgusted with this book. But I think it's a story which has to be told. So it helped me to get it out a, a bit to, to see where I am. What prompted you to leave Czechoslovakia and come to the United States? I was uh, doing lots of film work. I was doing animation and I was invited to come to America to make animated film for the Olympic Games in 1984 in Los Angeles. So I really came just for three months to make animated film. And then I got involved in the animation for Bob Dylan and things were taking longer. And the communist government said, you have to come back next month. And I said, but I have this film for Bob Dylan. So I didn't come back on time and I got sort of stranded. And then I got American vibe. Now I have American kids and now I'm surrounded by all these Americans. And, but I didn't come really like trying to come and stay here. So it's funny because it's now 25 years since I'm, I'm here. I, I assume you've been back to visit. Oh, yeah, I go back a lot. So, yeah. so what is the difference now in the way kids are growing up in what used to be Czechoslovakia compared to... What, it's what happened good, when you were Very good up. question. And not, not that much because uh, all of a sudden it's not that much to read because, uh, first of all, it's like my kids, they would be on computer or they would be playing video games. And secondly, everybody has to make money now. It's not like b before and they would just not work that much because it's a capitalism. So everything changed to the point that Prague is a beautiful, colorful city, but everybody's working differently and thinking differently. But I think it will still take like two, three more generations before people really will realize that they are free. Again, the latest book from Peter Cease, The Wall, Growing Up Behind the Iron Curtain. Are you already thinking about your next project? I'm thinking about uh, doing something maybe more relaxing than dealing with the politics. Well, Peter Cease, thank you very much.